G'day folks, John in Thailand, I'm on a printing job, I do work here sometimes, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you the two tools that we use when I'm pruning, or when we're pruning, the wife's here too, uh, what we have, uh, oh, pruning, pruning saw, which has got a little hook on the end of it, nasty thing that uh and pruning shears i guess you'd call them these are ones i started using yesterday i got these at uh dr do it yourself in in peach it uh as you can see the it looks like there's a gap there when you squeeze the handles together but if you put your thumb like that and squeeze i mean you know like you're cutting a branch and you're putting a lot of pressure on it you can actually pinch your finger or thumb which i did yesterday and it hurt so yeah why they having a little rubber stopper in there to keep it about there as you can see the blade tips where it should be and any extra movement is really not necessary as as can be seen uh, yeah it's pretty crap uh, not tight crap it's Australian crap. <laughs> the only only thing I liked about them initially before I started using them was they got a nice white handle and I don't get um, blisters on my hand as quickly as I normally do with the other ones, which are more rounded and smaller handles. Uh, I've tried about 12 different brands and uh, they all vary. Some got better blades and, uh, you know, like, I mean, when it comes down to it, I guess we'd have to spend probably 80 or 100 Australian dollars to get the really good printing shears, but there's not that sort of money in the budget when you've got to buy two or three pair. So I normally walk around with this, this saw underneath my arm, and each time I come to a tree, if I don't need it, I just leave it under my arm uh, when I do need it. Um, out she comes and a big branch will come off and then we'll chop it up what we have in a lot of a lot of cases um, this one's not too bad there's a thing where the leaves sort of clump together and when we spray with the air bus uh, which is our orchard sprayer unfortunately uh, the bugs seem to hide underneath the leaves and we don't get them with this one um, it's pretty close to where the airbus will pass so the the wind from the airbus will blow a lot of chemi in there uh, but once you get up in the top of the tree which is a bit hard to show because the sun's in the wrong spot this tree isn't too bad but uh, if you're up high in the tree you know like I mean I've checked and I can see that the leaves aren't wet when they should be wet and what we're doing at the moment is um, basically a maintenance prune we try and unclump uh, little areas where it's uh, where it's been uh, a problem. You know, like the insects can be uh, can be found. Like I mean, even when you just walk through and, and brush your hand through the tree, sometimes the insects will come out. Um, yeah, the wife had been using uh, one of my a saw similar to mine, which is uh, she's got a pole. So I, she's over there. I I see and she's taken it off the pole. Um, but this tree is the next tree I'll be doing. And what we're looking for is branches that are forming that are heading to the centre of the tree instead of going out, and branches that are forming that are going across-wise, which which all create problems if you don't cut them out. And the clumping, uh, we you know thin out the, the, the leaves a little bit. And um, if there's any, any, any branches too low, this one's probably okay, I haven't checked it yet. Uh, I need clearance underneath to get the tractor through, so uh, we'll just have a look at that one. Not a major problem. Just looks like it could be a problem. We just trim that off and on the ground as long as I can get in there's like a little ridge around each tree uh, if I can get in fairly close to that that that's good um, actually that one should come off too and this one here doesn't look like it's of any benefit so 
taken a few off, but all in all, uh, it's not too bad. I would, uh, I'd leave the tree as it is now, and when when fruit comes and the branches get heavy, we we normally use bamboo sticks to hold the branches up anyway, so it's not a major drama. But we've still got a fair way to go. We've done uh, five rows this morning, and. Oh crap, it looks like there's about 20 rows to go and we probably won't get that done today. Uh, looks like we'll be out here again tomorrow. Whoopee! Anyway, I'm going to leave you with it and uh, get back to doing my job. So have a good day and bye from now. For now. <laughs>